we'll begin with some general tips to keep in mind. Always confirm the vehicle is safe to drive prior to the test drive. On vehicles equipped with disc brakes, remove and hang the caliper out of the way using a wire hanger. Do not support the caliper by letting it hang by the brake hose. Silicone sealants are not compatible with synthetic gear oils. Make sure to use compatible sealants and gear oils. The suspension system works as a complete system to provide agile response, safety, and comfort to the vehicle's handling. A weak link in the system can adversely affect the system and the surrounding components. Even after a component has failed and been repaired, all components in the system should be rechecked. Some general tips for bearings. Never install a new bearing cone with a used bearing cup or vice versa. Always use a bearing race driver to install bearing cups. Be careful not to damage the cup surfaces. Never use a cone to drive a cup. If the bearing cup can slide in easily or turns in the housing, replace the drum, rotor, or hub. Never reuse old or used grease. Always pack bearings with a new high-quality wheel bearing grease. Let's review some general tips for seals. Never reuse seals. Contamination entering past an old or used seal will ruin a bearing. Always use a seal driver to install a seal. The sound of the mallet changes when the seal bottoms out. Never hammer directly on the seal. Be careful not to cock the seal. Either action could damage the seal and lead to premature failure. And now, we'll cover some general tips for hub bearings. Hub bearings are precision-engineered components and are susceptible to damage by using an air gun. Do not use an impact wrench when servicing these units. Only use the correct axle torque specifications and manufacturer's recommended installation procedure. Do not use a hammer to separate an outboard CV joint from the hub. Damage to the threads and internal CV joint components can result. Never use a hammer on the hub or bearing. This could bend the hub flange or cause internal bearing damage. Avoid supporting a steering knuckle on steering arms, strut flanges, or brake caliper tabs, as in some cases, these parts could easily get damaged in the process. The axle nut should be properly torqued to create the correct bearing preload. The best practice is to have the vehicle on the ground to perform the final torquing to OEM specifications and always check and adjust the alignment as necessary after this service. Some hubs will come with a new nut in the box. This is typically when a one-time use self-staking nut secures the hub. In these applications, a new nut must always be used when installing a hub. Reuse of the old nut could potentially cause the nut to loosen during vehicle operation. Some applications incorporate a splash shield that attaches between the hub and the knuckle. If present, note and mark the position of the shield on the knuckle for correct reinstallation. Seals are not serviceable on hub assemblies. They can be damaged during installation from over-torquing the hub assembly axle nut or damaged by road contaminants. Hub seals should be checked during an inspection to make sure they are not leaking grease. And finally, we'll close out this training by covering some general tips about Generation 1 hub bearings. If a bent hub flange is used, it will cause premature failure of the bearing. Make sure to closely inspect the knuckle bore. If it is distorted, it will cause the outer race to take the shape of the damaged bore. If it is enlarged, it could allow the outer race of the bearing to rotate in the knuckle. Either condition will cause a bearing to fail prematurely. Many Generation 1 hub bearings are held in place with a bearing retainer, which is often called a C-clip. If these are bent or damaged, they can cause setting problems for the bearing. It is a best practice to always use a new C-clip. While pressing the bearing into the knuckle or pressing the hub flange into the wheel bearing, force must only be applied to the appropriate bearing race. The inner race must not move in relation to the outer race. The application of force to the wrong part of the bearing will ruin it by severely damaging the raceways and balls or rollers.